La Pamba. La Pamba. La Pamba. La Pamba. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Give or lose it. I believe what it is not given, it's lost, especially knowledge. And I usually say this in my videos so people know I'm actually not um, a self-taught guitarist. I have this channel since 2007 with 500 plus videos teaching what I learned by myself and I share it with the people. I'm also an amateur singer. I just like to teach and train my voice. But my full-time job is actually a salsa and bachata dancer and full-out Latin sports. So <laughs> you could say that this is actually my hobby, but I don't know which one of the two is. They both take the same amount of time of my life. I really do enjoy them a lot. And we're going to be learning La Bamba today. I think it's one of the best songs out there. It was made famous more by Rich Valen and Los Lobos. Uh, it was in the 60s, 70s song, one of the greatest uh, rock songs ever, which is actually Mexican. And I've seen many different uh, approaches to it. I think this one is going to be very simple for you and you'll be able to sing with it. I will be doing it with the capo for my own voice and then I will advise you for your own voice where you can put the capo or not put it. Hey guys, how you doing? Now we finished that little song, Diggity. You can take it uh, higher, lower. Specifically, I had the cape on the seventh fret, and that's uh, a C4, the high note, which is not for a baritone, or for anyone else that the regular bloke, just a little work and you'll have it, and you can put some uh, compressor into it. Uh, we could easily go on to D4, but the original is actually without the capo, and it starts on an F4, if you know from your chord. So if you're a baritone that can reach up there, that's great. If you're a lady, that's quite low for you. Maybe you want to go F sharp, uh, G, on an A. So put your capo here, one, two, three, four, fifth fret. A little bit soprano, seventh fret, just like I did before, and you'll go on the C. Uh, five, which is really nice for this, is quite high. Don't overdo it though. And um, uh, one side note, whenever you put the cable on, especially lower like I do, on this is a 500 euro guitar, it's not three, 4,000 euros. So this is the one I have to play, this is the one I make do. But when I move more down, there's a little bit of inconsistencies in the notes. So when I put the capo on, make sure that you tune your guitar with the capo on so it sounds correctly as well. But I'm gonna show it without a capo. Uh, I've untuned my guitar a little bit on and off for the capo, so I hope it doesn't uh, clash too much with your own tuning. Let's see if we are the same, get an E chord. Yeah, about the same. Okay, that's good. Don't untune your guitar, probably mine, it might be a little bit higher or lower <laughs> anyways so uh, now I'm gonna put right here so you can see take a screenshot of this this is the pattern of La Bamba through the three simple chords C G S F 
and G. You can put a G7 if you like, it's a little bit more difficult, but leave it on the G. And then you can also see the changes. Now the up and down, the green arrows you hit, and the red arrows you miss. What do I mean? Let's come back to me. Hey, all right. So the guitar, we want to go down with the fingers, all of them, especially the two middle one. When we twist up the thumb, practice down and up and down and up. If you like moving from here, of course, the faster you go, the more difficult it becomes. So you might need to go a little bit here. Notice if I'm here, sometimes my nail hits here and I get a little percussion. You can be here for sweeter, here or louder. Okay, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, I actually made a mistake. It took me more than half an hour to write down the pattern uh, and I wrote it down correctly, but I didn't put it somewhere so I can see it too. Uh, you might think, hey, you already know it. I actually learned it because I played it already many years ago. I have another link of La Bamba. I'll have it here, which is only for guitar, a little bit melody and the strumming, but here it's for the singing and uh, we're going to be going through the C, F, G. So another thing you want to practice except down and up. go through the chords and go with them a little bit fast, okay, because this song actually changes them a little bit fast, fortunately or, or unfortunately. Uh, you can go from the C and just put your little pinky here in the uh, middle and here bar all two for an F and don't play the top. If it makes it any easier for you, it's called the sleeve. It's an F. I just don't lift my fingers so I have the bass as well. But I don't mind putting it there. I can do it fast enough. If you can as well, have fun. And let's start it. Uh, if I do something wrong on the up and down, correct me guys, because I unfortunately I don't have a, the, the, the pattern that I drew here. You might see it on the screen, but I'm not seeing it right now that I'm doing the video. Uh, we're going to start with the C and go down, down. So that means down, miss the up, and hit the down. Now, as we come up, this is where you can cheat. As you're transitioning to the F, you don't have to move your ring finger. Come up and hit all the open strings. Shape the F and go a triplet. One, two, three. Okay, so... your first half you're like there's only one chord left yeah but there's actually more strumming on the latest half sorry for the background noise guys I'm trying to do it at daytime but as always because I have my mobile not yet my HD donations please anyways so when I get my HD and gather up enough uh, cash flow I've been trying for six months with donations actually seven eight now and I have 150 euros a little bit far away from the 600 euro mark, but I really want a good camera so I can explain better for everyone. So we're going again. Now if you're fast at changing, you can do those four hits. You see, I already did it when I changed the chord. It's just a little cheat, it's not gonna kill you. Now watch, up, miss the down, so figure it, uh, see it as a middle small part, this one. G, G, up, up. Dum, dum. Okay, it, it's a nap. You gotta keep on practicing. You see, now when on the D7 from Reflex, or you can go continuously on the G, it really doesn't matter. Now, you're gonna miss one more time. The, uh, the down stroke after the up, up, miss it one more time and then go up, down, up, down, up. That's five times. Da, di, da, di, da. That's third and last piece of the pattern. Stay with me so we practice a little bit. You see? Go to the next one after you go up, da di da di da, one, two, three, four, five, straight away to the C, no delay. Okay, so that was the pattern. Uh, I'll put 
in a, after the donation link, another link where you can click and go see the image. I'll put it on my guitar um, page so you guys can see it there as well, the pattern, if you like to download it. But a screenshot is quite easy as well to see it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys like it. La Bamba, how to strum the easiest way and sound really cool as well. See you on the next video. And if you have a request, leave it in the comments below. Ciao.